Good morning and welcome to the First Baptist Church of Kimberling City's RPM Daily Devotionals, reaching the lost for Christ, preparing the saints for service, and magnifying the Lord. Now let's join Associate Pastor James Talley as he brings us today's message. Well, good morning, folks. Uh, glad that you could join us this morning and uh, on the devotions this morning. And uh, wasn't able to be here last week to do that, but uh, glad to be back with you this morning. And, you know, I'd been doing a series on uh, on lessons that I'd learned from Grandpa, and I kind of want to uh, continue with that this morning. I don't know how much longer these these lessons will go. I mean, there's lessons that I've learned that uh, that maybe I don't even realize or don't even think about, but. Uh, one that, that's been kind of sticking in my mind uh, the last several days, anyway, is, you know, my grandpa Bowden was a storyteller, and uh, sometimes so much so that you didn't even know if he was telling you a story, a fictional story, or if it was something that was true, or something that was just embellished, or if there was just something in between there. Um, a lot of times the stories, of course, revolved around hunting, or especially fishing, as as Many of you all are aware that uh, fishermen do tell a lot of a lot of stories, but um, one of the phrases that Grandpa got to be known for was "tell it like it is," and uh, he'd, you'd hear him say that over and over. Uh, somebody else would be telling a story, or we'd be talking about when we'd been out fishing, or something. Now nah, tell it like it is. Tell it like it is, and uh, you know so much so that uh, we would even turn it around on him. A lot of times when we'd go down to Arkansas to to visit my grandparents on, on, on a Friday night. Uh, my, my grandparents and my mom and dad would wind up in a game of Wahoo, which is a, basically a, like an aggravation kind of game, you know, marbles going around the board and everybody rolling for their uh, number of spaces that they move. And, you know, my dad always accused grandma of cheating. And, you know, she could just slide that, that die through there and just get whatever number she wanted. And, and, uh, you know, of course, Grandma denied it, but then that's when Grandpa would jump in to, Grandma, or to my dad's defense and tell Grandma, you know, tell it like it is, tell it like it is. You know, in a lot of ways, um, I think we've lost what it means to tell it like it is. You know, we've got, uh, we, we often embellish our stories so much so uh, that, that we get to the point that we don't even know Personally, if everything that we're telling is is a hundred percent accurate, we're adding to it just to try to uh, to to make a point, and we've lost the point uh, that we really were trying to make. Uh, we often want to show ourselves to be more right than the other person that maybe we're having a discussion or an argument with, and um, and, and so we go overboard to prove ourselves more right and prove them more wrong just to try to prove our own point. And, you know, of course, in this political season that we're in, we, uh, we, we see a lot of this. Uh, it's becoming more and more evident that we've lost the ability to disagree. We've, all, a lot, we've lost the ability to have a, a civil discourse. We can't just have a discussion about something. And a lot of that is because we have forgotten what it means to just tell it like it is. You know, here are the facts, here's the truth, but not the truth embellished. Um, here's where I disagree with you, but I don't disagree with you because I've embellished what you're saying so much. You know, in, in the book of James, in, uh, in ver uh, chapter 5, verse 12, James echoes what Jesus said back in Matthew during the Sermon on the Mount. He says, says, let your yes be yes and your no be no. And, and he's talking about oath-taking and, and, and that, that sort of thing um, in order to establish what you're saying as, as true. But ultimately it comes down to just the, the truth of our speech, the integrity of our speech. What do we say? Do, with, with what we say, is it, is it our yes mean yes and our no mean no? Are we telling it like it is? You know, it's imperative that we speak truth in love and, uh, and, it, and with grace to people. Uh, but we, not, we need not embellish the story. We don't need to embellish the story of Jesus. Um, as, as believers and, and followers of Christ, we need to share the story of Jesus with the lost around us. Uh, we need to be completely truthful and honest with those around us. 
but then we also need to be honest in our dealings with others and in our conversation with, conversations with others. Uh, there's no need to add to or take away from the story of Jesus um, or to add to or take away from the issues that face us in society today. There are enough um, facts that we can just deal with the facts. We can just tell it like it is. You know, as Christians, it needs to be upon us first to live and to speak in a, in a civil and respectful and truthful, completely truthful manner in all areas of our lives and, and our, in, our, in our interactions with others. You know, as a child uh, growing up and, and going down to Northeast Arkansas, I just, I never dreamed that some of the phrases that I, that I would hear um, would teach me such a lesson. You know, and, and most of the time when Grandpa was, was uh, throwing out a, a tell it like it is, uh, the, there was usually a lot of laughter involved. And, you know, whether it was from him or whether it was from my dad turning around on, on Grandpa who was maybe telling a fish tale or something. But that lesson, that little uh, five-word phrase has a great impact on me has a great impact on today and has a lot of meaning just just packed within a little bit of fun growing up. So I'm grateful for that lesson that I learned from, from my grandparents uh, as, as I have been with uh, many of the others that I've, I've shared with you. So today, as you go throughout, uh, throughout your day and you interact with other people, whether it's in person or online, remember to tell it like it is. You don't need to embellish the truth. Let me pray for you. Father, I thank you for the day that you have laid out before us. Lord, I thank you for the truth of your word. And God, I thank you that, uh, that you have called us to speak truth in love to others. But God, you've also called us to be completely truthful with, the, with our speech and with our actions. Lord, as we go through the day today, may we, may we tell it like it is. And may we share the love of Jesus with those around us. In Christ's name, amen. Thank you again for joining us today. We invite you to watch RPM Daily Devotionals each week, Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. on YouTube and Facebook. For more information on First Baptist Church and its ministries, go to fbckc.com. From First Baptist Church of Kimberling City, have a blessed day.